This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Of all the light sources in the world, Oriental lanterns definitely stand out. We know they exist, we enjoy seeing them at Asian restaurants and homes, but can we just appreciate their existence? Real life is not a video game where new areas have new types of items. No one developed Asia to have these unique paper lanterns, and yet, somehow through hundreds of years, they do. I don't know, I find it very interesting. So that's why, today, I'm making 3D printed Japanese lantern keychains that are extremely easy to make if you have a 3D printer. They are the perfect size to hang on a bag as I do, and there are so many unique ways to customize them to fit your look. Or check out my Etsy shop. We also sell them if you don't want to go through all the trouble of making them. Link in the description. Now then, let's get started. How would you make a lantern keychain? Perhaps out of clay? That wouldn't be too hard. These lanterns, although iconic, are pretty simplistic. But luckily, I have a 3D printer and that would make things much easier. However, that means I need to make a 3D model of a Japanese lantern, which may be challenging to someone inexperienced in 3D modeling. How on earth do you do that? Add a sphere and some cylinders? Too simplistic. Maybe sculpt some details? Too inefficient. Figuring out a way to 3D model something isn't always easy, but if you study the object you're modeling, you can find a solution. That gave me the idea that if I made one of these, I could rotate it and make the whole object easily. This would be extremely efficient, and it would allow me to control the shape I made, unlike my original idea. That's the plan. So I'll go into Blender, a completely free 3D modeling software, and start modeling one. For reference, I'll use a brilliant picture I took. Delete the default cube, go to a flat view, and drag in an image. Now let's make that frame. To start, I'll add a plane object and line it up with the top of the lantern. Now we can extrude more vertices from the plane in order to outline the object. It's very loose and just needs to capture the general shape of the lantern. Just like that, we have half of the lantern drawn. But by utilizing the mirror modifier, you can easily create the other side of the lantern. Now by selecting all the vertices and extruding more of them, I can give the shape volume. And just like the observation of the lantern in real life, I'll just rotate the vertices mathematically till the whole shape is done. And just like before, clicking mirror on the other axis will give you the other half of the lantern. Now we can add some volume to the lantern, a ring for a key chaining, and some smoothing. And done! One simple 3D modeling project with a great result. That was easy and took less than 5 minutes. In fact, I made another 3 models, all with different designs. All these models will be for sale on my Sketchfab store if you want to print your own lanterns. Usually I would make them for free, but because these models are so easy to make, I want to encourage you to try making your own lanterns following this video. Put some effort into it. Don't let some random kid on the internet take your money. Although, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. All the links are in the description below. If you're interested in Japanese lanterns, chances are you're interested in Japanese culture. But being a foreigner means that a lot of Japanese content is... yeah. One way to get around this is to use ExpressVPN. Their service reroutes your networking traffic through their encrypted servers, allowing for easy protection and freedom on the web. You can easily access restricted content from anywhere around the world, and even if you do choose to use those shady anime websites, you'll be protected from hackers trying to steal your information. It essentially works as an online bodyguard, making your life easier and safer. Just try it out. Using the link below, you can get 3 months completely free. Now, let's continue on. 3D printing is easy. Import into the slicer, and export it to the printer. 
Today I'm printing on my Focus Odin 5 printer. And if you don't have a 3D printer, I suggest checking out my video on this machine. If not, consider asking a friend or visit a local library with a printer. The model is support free and within an hour or so, you've got your product. It is that easy. What's difficult is painting the lanterns. You can see from these early attempts how bad it can look, especially this black one. But of course, practicing makes perfect. To paint the lanterns, I'll be using some cheap acrylic paints. One of the most common paints for DIY crafts like these. The first step is to get a reference. For this lantern, I'll do a generic red one with the Japanese words for ramen. The second step is easy, just painting on a base coat. Multiple coats are used, and if you want to get fancy, you can use some magenta red to shade the bottom slightly. The hard part comes in step 3, precision painting. This one takes a skill that doesn't come in a day, and I have to use a precise brush and hand-eye paint the design utilizing some white. It's much harder than you think, but one tip I have for you is to water down your paints. This makes the paint a lot more like ink and allows you to paint with more control. The fourth step is the most important, and it's to just protect your paint job. I'll be using some polyurethane to prevent scratches, which is common with keychains. Paint it on, add a keyring, and now we're done. Doesn't that look splendid? However, the beauty of a custom keychain is to make it fit your look. There are numerous designs to experiment with, and I really think you should paint one that reflects your bag, but more importantly, you. Making a fun, cultural keychain is what makes art so enjoyable. They are so cute and unique, making them the perfect gift during an Asian holiday. I really hope you try making one for yourself in order to celebrate hundreds of years of Japanese culture just from a charm hanging on your bag. If you have the time, check out our Etsy shop or ExpressVPN in the description below. But more importantly, don't ever forget to make some more fun.